it came within maybe an inch of stepping on this cotton mouth. He came right towards me. There's a very, very common misconception that goes around that these snakes will actually chase you. This is a yellow-bellied water snake. Just because you see a snake that is by the water does not mean that it is a cotton mouth. Y'all will not believe this. Y'all will not believe it. I just cruised a mud snake. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just cruised a baby mud snake. Right here. This is the snake that I came out here to find tonight. You know, and every time you go out looking for a mud snake, it's like you're almost guaranteed not gonna find one, but I, I just found one. This is a spot I have never been to before, ever, and here it is. I knew these were here, but I, I, I've never been here before. My first time coming here, and there's a baby mud snake. I cannot believe this. Look at this little guy, he's so cute. Holy crap. Oh my god, here I've gotta pick this thing up. Oh my. <laughs> Y'all, I'll be honest. I have a hard time believing this just happened. Oh my god, this is actually my first time road cruising a live mud snake ever. And it's at a spot that I've never been to before and have lived right by for ever since I was seven and I just never made the time to come out here. And the first time I come out here and I get this beautiful little western mud snake, Perancia abracura. Oh god. Well if that's not amazing, I don't know what it is, guys. That's just... Hey buddy. Precious. Just precious. Well, I guess let's keep cruising and see what else is out. That's, that's amazing. <laughs> Y'all take a look at the, I cannot believe that I'm actually holding this snake right now. I mean, you know, I always go herping on my birthday for at least a little bit. And, uh, you know, I always hope to strike gold, but I mean, usually it's, you know, it's all right, but it's usually never anything crazy that shows up. But, uh, you know, yesterday I got the corn snake, and today a freaking mud snake. Two of the rarest snakes we get in this area, and I found them back to back. That is just incredible. Now, let me, let me tell you all a thing or two about you know, the mud snake, since I, I've got one here, and this, since this is such a rare, you know, opportunity for me. You know, for a long, long time, the mud snake was always the snake that got away from me. Back a few years ago, I, uh, I remember I spent a solid three years, three whole years, of intensively searching for this species of snake. And, uh, you know, I was hell-bent on finding one, and it, and it took me three entire years of dedicated searching before I ended up finding my very first one. And it may have been a pain in the ass to find it, but my goodness, was it the most rewarding snake capture I have, I have ever had. I mean, it, it, it took so much work, so much failure, and uh, so much getting absolutely covered in mud after hours and hours of sweating in the swamp and getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. You know, it took it, it took a lot. And to finally have found one was, an, it, it was a dream come true. You know, I found it back in 2018. 
and uh, you know to this day I remember that snake encounter like it was like it was yesterday and, and every single time I find a mud snake it's almost almost not as most but almost as exciting as it was the first time because I mean just take a look at that snake now you may look at this snake and uh, think it's a baby and uh, you're absolutely right if you thought that because this is a young juvenile mud snake all right these snakes can actually get huge all right I'm talking seven feet sometimes all right they can get absolutely massive and you, you would be amazed thinking that this tiny little snake eventually will get to gargantuan sizes like that now you may think well what do they eat in order to get them to that size right and, you know it must be something pretty special and once again you're absolutely right because it, it is pretty special their diet is very very unique in the fact that these snakes they specialize in eating amphiumas and sirens I'm sure if y'all watch my channel y'all are probably familiar with those two salamander species but in case you don't which I don't blame you if you don't they're very very elusive Sirens and amphiumas are both a species of salamander. They are a fully aquatic species of salamander, and uh, you know you mainly find them in the swamps and the bayous and you know the the places like that around uh, where I'm at right now and throughout the southeast. And for some reason, these mud snakes specifically target them as food. They have been recorded to eat you know tadpoles and sometimes fish and you know things like that. But the vast majority of their diet makes up of those fully aquatic salamanders, so it's a very unique snake. You know, another thing that makes these snakes really, really cool is the, you know, they never bite. I literally, I have never heard of a single person ever getting bitten by one, nor have I ever been bitten by one myself, but their main defensive behavior is, is pretty cool. Uh, they actually, they're like a worm snake, kinda, and they've got a really, really sharp and pointy tail tip. And what they do with that tail tip is they actually take it and uh, they'll poke you with it, all right? So it doesn't break the skin or hurt really at all. It's just something that feels really weird and is enough to make a predator kind of be like, whoa, what was that? And then when they do that, they drop the snake and he slithers into a giant pile of mud and gets away. And that's the main purpose of that defense mechanism. Now, that defense mechanism that is also really, really cool uh, actually has, uh, has given them a very interesting reputation to some people. So this snake's nickname name is the hoop snake and uh, you know some of y'all may wonder why they're uh, called that and I'll tell you why they're called the hoop snake it's really really funny <laughs> so a, uh, a myth has gone around throughout the generations that these snakes will uh, if they see you what they'll do is they will take their tail right and they will put it in their mouth right kind of like that and they will form a circle a hoop as some may say and what would then happen from there according to this myth is that if it were on the top of a hill and you were at the bottom of it it would then roll down the hill in that hoop shape like a wheel it would not matter how fast you run how far you run you would not be able to escape it and uh, once it it closes in on its target <laughs> which is you um, <laughs> it would then proceed to shoot itself out completely horizontally like a spear and then take that really pointy tail tip and impale you with it. And uh, it's also said that it would then secrete a green poison and uh, it, would, it would eventually kill you. Now, is that true? Absolutely not. That's that's absolute silliness. These snakes, uh, number one, they, they hardly ever live in any places that have hills. They're usually a very lowland, flatland species. So the circumstances to have that happen can't really naturally happen generally in the first place. But even if they could, uh, it's complete silliness. That never happens. But it does make for a good story about these snakes, the mud snakes. I love their red eyes, you know? Now, I've never seen another snake that has red eyes like this snake does. I mean, it's, it's, it's absolutely fascinating. You know, hardly anybody knows that these snakes even exist, right? You know, because you almost 100% of the time have to be looking for them in order to find one. And even then, obviously, you know, it, it, it takes more than a lot to actually find one. But that's a, a thing or two about the uh, western mud snake. So it's starting to rain on me and I don't want my camera to fry. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put him back where he was, release him where I found him. And uh, y'all just enjoy a last look at our little friend here, the western mud snake, Ferrancia abracura. Just lovely, look at that snake. That is just beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and let him go. All right, well, the time has come. So I found him crossing the road and he was headed this way. So, you know what, I'm just gonna let him go the way he was going since that's what you wanna do with any snake, turtle, whatever it is that you find crossing the road. Just let them back go the way they were going. 
and they'll figure everything out. Well, he's gonna go off into this stuff really slowly, so I'm just gonna walk off and uh, let him do his thing. But I mean, I just cannot believe I ended up finding this guy. What a chance situation. Gosh, beautiful snake, all right. <sighs> I, I can't believe that just happened, man. I cannot believe I got the opportunity to see another one of those snakes. Wow. Wow, what a freaking birthday. All right, y'all. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed the videos. Uh, it's been a hell of a birthday, or birthday two days, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's been a hell of a two days that happened to fall on and very close to my birthday. So thank you for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed, and I hope y'all learned something cool. You know, a lot of people don't know about mud snakes, so I hope y'all know about them now. You know, that's the whole purpose of this channel. I just want to teach y'all about what amazing, you know, animals live out in these places, because, uh, you know, so few people know these things even exist so until next time guys y'all have a great one take care and uh see you on the next video